Hey Tyler, it's Mom. I want to show you how easy it is to cook crock pot chicken. Okay, we of course buy Sanderson Farms because Dad writes the insurance, but mainly what you want to look for is to make sure you have a chicken that has no additives or preservatives. A lot of times they will pump that chicken full of saline solution. Um, I know Walmart chicken does that. Um, I can't remember the brands that, that Walmart carries, but it just makes these giant chicken breasts and you're paying for salt water, which is dumb, and preservatives and stuff like that. So, none of that. You don't have to buy the organic chicken if you can find this. Okay, here's the only ingredients I put in crock pot chicken is salt and pepper. Uh, onion, whether you might have some fresh cut up or you can buy that frozen cut onion if you want to or um, I just use these dehydrated onions most of the time. Got it on hand all the time. And some garlic powder. Now I'll show you the cheater way that I do. And You, you know you want to season both sides of the chicken <coughs> but um, that's kind of a pain in the butt. So I sprinkle a little layer of salt and uh Sprinkle a little layer of, of the onion. Don't let the silica package get in there. Then I sprinkle a little layer of the garlic. And then you give some cranks of pepper down in the bottom. Then you open your chicken. Okay, once upon a time, I used to tell you you needed to rinse chicken. And, of course, they don't say that anymore, and rightly so, because that's just stupid. If you're cooking the chicken at the right temperature, then you should be killing all the bad bacteria anyhow. Okay, so I lay the chicken breasts, or you can do this with a whole chicken, too. Or anything actually. Now look I have a whole layer in the crock pot so because I want to make sure I have enough seasoning I season the top of this chicken. Look how heavy handed on the onion there. Garlic. It's always tricky to do cranks of pepper when you have chicken hands. So be sure to disinfect anything that you touch with raw chicken hands. Now I just got to do this one little one here on the top to make sure it gets enough seasoning. And you really can't mess it up. There's, there's you can try different types of seasoning and then put your cranks of pepper. Okay. Wash okay, your hands. And I'm going to put about um, a cup of water. And I don't want to pour it on the chicken. Of course, I don't think you can see here. So I just pour it easily on the sides. And that way, I'm not washing off my seasonings. Actually, I don't even need a cup of water. I don't know how much I use there, but um, I think I have about a fourth cup left. Okay, the chicken will make its own broth, too. So I turn the setting to low and put on the top. My crock pot happens to cook very quickly. So, um, I don't need a full eight hours. Uh, you'll have to experiment with yours. I'll just turn mine to the warm setting later. If I'm not ready to eat and it's done. Or you can turn it off because it actually holds the heat very well. So maybe um, if yours cooks quickly, you could probably do this if you came home for lunch. And um, then it'd be ready for dinner. Okay, then before you put everything up... <coughs> Get you a Lysol wipe and wipe down anywhere that you may have 
had raw chicken stuff. Um, I had set down the, <coughs> the chicken container right here and I just want to make sure that's clean. I usually go behind Dad when he cooks and do this and get the olive oil off the sides of the container or whatever because it drips and olive oil goes rancid and will make a nasty smell <coughs> even though it's on the outside. So, um, there you go. Now, you can use this chicken, you know, eat it for dinner the night that you cook it and then with the leftovers, take a fork and a knife and you shred it up and put it in the freezer. <coughs> Save your, your liquid it's chicken broth, so you have like free chicken broth. And I save it in one cup increments in the freezer. And then when you have a dish that calls for chicken broth, you know how much you're using when you take it out.